Hey guys, and welcome back. I know it's been a little time since I put out some content, but I got something fresh for you. My buddy Pat from Flow Life is flying me out to Texas to ride at Spider Mountain. You might have seen his jerseys, seen his shirts, definitely seen me with his hats on. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, we're up early, up at 6 a.m. and it's, it's already hot outside. I already want to, uh, I already want to take a jump in the pool. Oh, there's Patty over there. Let's go find some coffee. Even though Pat doesn't drink coffee, I'm gonna find some coffee because we are gonna send some park laps today. So I used to live in Texas roughly 10 years ago and I was only in the BMX at the time and I didn't really think a whole lot of it because they were just going to concrete parks, but there's really nothing there to ride. So the idea that they have a lift service downhill park it's just wild, and I'm super stoked that they have something like that because there's a lot of people that will never ride a lift service park. I think the two things I'm looking forward to going to do at Spider Mountain are gonna be they have a big Texas flag wall ride, and they also have another big feature that's some kind of like bridge thing that you can hop off of, but I'm shooting to send both of them and trying to hit them as big as I can. And I, we'll see what happens. Hope I don't crash. Pat, here we go. Thank you. Thank you. So Miss Hudson, big shout to Miss Hudson for some passes there. Thanks for that. And we're gonna go get geared up so that we can hit this mountain. And there's our lift. Look at that. Oh, who's that? Who's that guy? I don't know who that guy is, but here's the lift. One of my other sponsors, not plugging them because this is a flow life video, but um, dirt gloves, banging them out with the gloves. Yeah, right. This guy's got a pair Sick too. Design. So, on I love the colors. Yeah, um, so a lot of the followers, a lot of my really good friends are close to me have really been enjoying these gloves and no complaints. And that's a dope jersey. That obviously looks like something I'm rocking right there. So, let's go up on the bike and get this going. Oh, look at this guy. I'm gonna do that. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there we go. The hype is real. The, the lift is swiftly moving, in my opinion. We can, yeah. You feel better with that? This, this, is, this lift is, is, in comparison to other lifts, is like, you're not really that far off the ground. Other places, you got like 50 feet below <laughs> you at some point. You're like, oh, I want the bar down. I be up there. But one of the things that's super cool is that I'm here, I show up, and I didn't announce it on Patreon or anything like that, but one of my patrons is actually right back here on the lift behind us, the cost of the parking lot for my first run. So, big shout out to all my Patreons. I actually just bought some tires for my truck with my Patreon money. That was super clutch because I hadn't been working, I'm just getting back to working. That's probably another reason why the slow videos are coming out a little slower now, but thank you to all you guys. Awesome, appreciate all the help and all the assistance. Yeah, I'm gonna let a little gap get there. Work, work. So one thing about Spider Mountain is the lift ticket for the yearly pass is actually 450 bucks, which seems like a lot of money, but it actually is not considering other park passes you're only ride there for that season, and then you can't ride year round. At Spider Mountain, you can ride year round default by itself, you're gonna go more time. So it's a great value with people that live within two hours. So anywhere within 150 miles of Spider Mountain, it's probably worth having a yearly pass. Oh man, I just gotta let this open up. Super weird. Oh shit, no break. <laughs> oh, we were the show last time. Oh, oh, oh. God, Lee. So dusty, dude. 
I'm gonna open up my fun switches. Where are you going? I'm going on the double black, bro. Oh my god. Wow, they got a it's just loose rock, hardcore, big rocks. Okay, okay. Sketchy. Okay, okay. Stay wide left, wide left. Everything's just so loose. It's not like it's that steep. I can't tell what's happening here. You see that? My favorite things about Spider Mountain were probably going to be the fact that they had a double black line that had, they might have been short rock gardens, but they're still both like 50 to 60 feet a piece, and you really could get broke off there. So it is the most extreme thing they have, and that's why I like it, and that's what I go to parks for. Everything's open. They also had a wall ride. Wall rides are always pretty cool. So I can't wait to see if they build more of those because those are always fun. Oh. And then they had some other wood features that you could hop off of, but I would probably default it being the, the double black diamond, the two rock gardens. Man. Oh, almost. I think with their climate there, they could build year round and really make some really creative stuff. And I think they should get really aggressive with it. And I support you guys to push these places to get more aggressive with it. If there's a place that has enough people to make something, it's gonna be Texas. And Texas can make it bigger than anywhere else. And that's what I'm gonna expect next time I come back is that the Texas community has made something huge at Spider Mountain.